Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, at whom I learned this truth from. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth and faith and in sincerity. I'm the brother Shema'ala from the GMS Houston camp. This lesson is going to be going into. You know, asking the question, man, like, why trust the devil? The devil being Esau, Edom, so-called white man. Like, why trust, you know, in the in his in his medicine, right? Why trust in any of that in in his in his potion and in his injections? Why? Like, I was watching a uh, a little clip of ISUPK, and they had a woman on the phone. I guess, you know, they, they do their little call-in thing or whatever. And she just couldn't understand of why they was pushing that potion. Uh, why they wasn't speaking against it. And the reason, his 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 reasons was just, was just so, you know, s stupid. That's, that's, that's the best word I can say right now. Captain Cesare, yeah, great. It it would it just it just don't make sense, right? Him and his um, he had another guy with him too. Uh, they were sitting right beside him, right, trying to assist him with that question, the question she was asking, right? But they were basically making a point of how, you know, why why not get it if we eating foods and don't know what he putting in them and. Don't know we eating and we eating GMOs or if we drinking water and it's polluted, bro. The scriptures say that that the, that the food was gonna be like that, right? This is Ezekiel four and thirteen, and Yahweh said, "Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, but I would drive them." You see, so this is coming from the Most High. Yeah, our food was gonna be defiled. Was that mean you don't eat? You go to Deuteronomy. 28 and 48 this is one of the curses therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies which he is our enemy Esau Edom therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things you see so we were going to be Fully in subjection unto this man because we're in captivity. So yeah, we're gonna have to go to him to eat, for you know, for for water, for clothing. We got to. We're gonna we're supposed to just starve ourselves out. That point, that point just don't make sense. The point that they trying to make. He's saying just because we don't know what's in the food, then you should just go ahead and take the potion. That don't even make sense. It's like I was talking to a brother the other day, like bro. It's like saying, okay, we don't know if you start putting pork in everything, right? It's why the Lord act it's, it's mercy of all, but we, we rehearse the, the righteous acts to the best of our ability, right? But like we don't know if you start putting pork in everything, if he's sneaking it in there or whatever. We don't know that, right? But we still select the right foods that we're supposed to eat that is lawful. But the point he's making, that's like saying, okay, we might as well eat pork then since we don't know that if Esau putting pork in the food. Man, Esau can be doing a lot, a lot of shit, man. But that don't mean you 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 willingly go and bow down to this man and let him just do whatever he want to do to you. Because, man, this man never has anything good. He ain't, bro, he, he, he don't have good intentions for the nation of Israel, period. And even... General Johanna saying that okay, yeah, this man is the devil, this and that, but yeah, still go 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 get it, go take it. Like, what are you saying? What are you saying? You telling me I can't I can't trust him in in one sentence, right? Then in another, you saying, man, go ahead and go go do it. So you you basically leading people to the slaughter. That's what you're doing, and blood is gonna be on these guys' hands. All right, this is um Job 13 and 4. But ye are forgers of lies, ye are physicians of no value. You see, so Esau, Esau, Edom, bro, they, like your house, I said, man, he was a liar from the beginning. This, this man ain't gonna never change. 
is that is that same serpent from the beginning, right? Subtle, the any beast of the field. And we supposed to trust him? And we supposed to go take that, take that potion? You gotta be out of your mind. You see, he says, you're all physicians of no value. And physicians are supposed to supposed to help you with your with your health. This is Physician Strong's H7495 Rapa. It says to heal, make healthful, right? To heal of the most high. Healer. You see, so it's supposed to a uh a physician is supposed to is supposed to heal you, and he says a physicians are no value. That's that, and that's you saw Edom. When, when he give you these 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 certain pills and whatever, right? He's making it worse. To, he's he's basically trying to keep you coming in, coming to him, right? Because it's all a money thing. He don't have intentions on actually healing you. Where's the money in that? He says you are all physicians of no value. And also for guys that are supposed to be teaching this truth because this truth heals the spirit. You see, Yahweh shall say the truth, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Right? In the book of Psalms, it says he sent his word and it healed us. It healed us in the spirit, brought us back to life, it quickened us. Right? So we are like spiritual physicians. But hey, man, these guys are physicians with no value. Let me see what else I had. Uh, right, Psalms 103 and 2. Because, man, at the end of the day, man, we're supposed to trust in the Lord. Right? That's who we put our trust in. Psalms 103 and 2. Bless you, how will, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all of thy diseases. The Lord, the Lord can heal you of any ailment, any disease. That you have there are there are many natural ways to get rid of you know anything that your body might be going through right and using using herbs and prayer that's what we have our faith in the lord says he's going to protect his elected in psalms 91 it says no no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling right the basically the elect was going to be protected so basically you you going to you going to yourself for protection basically what you what you're saying you don't trust in the lord you gotta have full faith in the Lord. You think the Lord gonna let a, a damn virus, right, take out his men? Well, he don't. He don't want the Lord is the one orchestrating this whole thing. So if you do get taken out by, hey, that was the word of the Lord. But the elect is gonna have full faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Isaiah ten and twenty, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, right? The Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, or who smote us. He saw you them so called white man continue all throughout history. Isaiah fourteen says that he that that ruled the nations, or that continually smote us, roughly paraphrase. Let me let me just jump over real quick. Isaiah fourteen. And six, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. You see, that's him. That's that man. And he's done more evil unto our people than anybody. Right? But it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. Right? Then stay, which is the Hebrew Sha'in, which means trust, lean on, go to for support. We ain't, we ain't going to him. We already know what he's capable of. Why do that? You see, why, 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 why even put <laughs> your life in this man's hands like that when you know that he hates life? He hates us. It says, "But shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth." So that's who we going. That's who we going to trust in. That's who we put all our our trust in, all our faith in. We and we gonna stand on that. You see, but this is Romans sixteen and seventeen. It says, "Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them." You got to mark individuals like this. 
You gotta watch them. You gotta you gotta know that hey man, look, these guys right here, they they ain't right. Or it says contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. And we have learned to put all our faith in the in the Al-Bashim al -Shah. We learned faith. You see, it's all about faith. When Yahweh was healing, hey, he, used to, he used to tell people, look, hey, your faith made you whole. You had to believe to be healed. Because these people still taking the, <laughs> still taking the jab and dropping dead. So what are you saying? But it says, for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So they don't they ain't really serving the Lord, not saying stuff like that. You see, they serving their own belly. Right? Man, they it's a it, it, it gotta be it gotta be behind money. It gotta be. That's what it gotta be. Because these these guys cannot be that simple. Right? To say he the devil in one sense, but then saying go to him. For the potion, for the job. Hey, it gotta be for money. It gotta be behind money. You know, a lot of guys and sold out, right? It says, and by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. Right? So the only ones that are gonna be deceived by that is the simple. You gotta be simple as hell to, to to even still be a part and within that congregation, and because they headed down the wrong path, right? And hey. I, you best believe a lot of people was probably was already listening and, and, and taking heed and, and listening to their advice and, and, and taking that thing. Hey, man, a lot of blood is going to be on guys like this, you know, and, and any anybody else that's pushing this, right, that supposed to be leaders, you see, amongst our people, right? Hey, their blood is going to be required at your hand. See, and, and, you know, that was the lessons all I had to say. You know what I'm saying? Shalom.